Hi, how's it going? My name is Parker. I'm a graphics designer in Los Angeles. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a web page really quickly and easily using iPhoto. So I've got a gallery opening here and uh, if I wanted to make a quick web page, all I'd have to do is select the event and hit File, Export or shift Apple E and then go over to web page in the export options. Now I can title it whatever I want. Um, that title looks good uh, because I've titled my event so it's going to use that uh, off the top. Um, I can change the number of columns or rows because it's going to lay it out in a grid on the web page so you can decide between three, four, five, however many you want uh, you can adjust the numbers there. Uh, here the template uh, can be plain or framed. I'm going to make it plain and you can adjust the background and text colors here using uh, this little handy color wheel. So let's just change the background just to just to show you how easy that is. Now it's going to start off with a number of thumbnails and then when you click on them it'll go to the full size image. So if you want your thumbnails to be smaller if you adjusted these numbers here down to say 100 and 100 then that would decrease the thumbnail size and you'll see how that plays out when we get to the web page. Uh, same goes for the actual image size. So if you have really big photos and you actually want to expand the size of them, um, you can do that here. Just one note, that's going to increase your file sizes. So you know, depending on how quick your internet speed is, uh, you may or may not want to increase this number too, too much. But let's, let's bring it up just to show you how big they can get, up to say a thousand and a thousand. Now they give you width and height because some photos are horizontal and some are vertical. So you want this number to be approximately the same. Um, and I'm going to say show title and that's fine. Now I'm going to click export and it's going to ask me where I want this to go. Now wherever you're saving your site you just want to make sure you know exactly where that is. And you probably want to create a new folder so that it's all in one easy to find place. So I'm going to say web page as a new folder on my desktop just for safekeeping and hit OK. Then it'll process the images. It'll actually compress them uh, based on the numbers that you gave it here like the max width, height uh, for the thumbnail and the full size image itself. Now when that's done, if you just open up the folder that you made, you'll see you actually have the images here, the pages, and the thumbnails. And then at the bottom is your index.html. Now this is the the whole thing is going to need to go wherever your um, website is being hosted. So make sure you copy the whole thing because this index.html is going to reference all these thumbnails and images. So if I actually just double click on index there, it's going to open it up in Safari. And now these are what I was talking about. This is my thumbnail. Then if I actually click on one, it will open up the full size. And now I bumped it up to a thousand, so this is fairly large. Then if I just click next, it'll go through sort of like a slideshow. And that's the basic layout. Uh, the framed is a little different. Um, I'll just quickly do that and show you the framed. Okay, so I've got my web page framed. I'm just going to double click index HTML. And you can see that the main difference here is that they've got a nice little border surrounding it and that they also have a nice little play button here at the top where you can click next or back to home. So that's the difference there, and uh, yeah, it's, it's just that easy. All right, my name is Parker. Send any requests that you have to requests at mahalo.com. Have a good one.